Who <laughs> 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 would like to start off? Uh, Jack, uh, when I spoke to you last month uh, in Tally, you were saying to me that um, I suppose anything can happen in football and you're just going to stick the head down, but realistically, did you expect to be called to an Ireland squad so quickly? No. No, it's, uh, it's been a mad couple of days and um, still trying to get my head around it, but um, you know, obviously delighted to be here and you know, delighted for hours to, uh, to give me the chance to, you know, obviously to perform. And when you were coming into the League of Ireland, I mean, was that an expectation at all that eventually it might happen? You might get from Rovers to the Ireland squad. Was it anything that was in your mind at all coming to Ireland from there? No, we just we just wanted to, you know, obviously do well and you know get back on track and you know without without Rovers and without you know Stephen Bradley and you know Mike Fail and the coaching staff there, I don't think it, it would have been possible for me to be here. So I'm just grateful. And in terms of picking up a bit of form, getting games, I know that's what you were talking about uh, last month. Uh, how have you felt you played? How do you think things have gone uh, with Rovers so far? Um, I feel as if I'm getting better, you know, with, with, with the games. And, you know, I needed the games. I needed a couple of games to get going. And, you know, um, the last the last two games, I'd say, we've been um, we've been kind of getting to my level. And, you know, we've, we've been happy with the last two games. Before that, you know, it was just, I was, I was quite tired, to be fair. So, but, you know, I'm, 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 looking for, I'm, I'm looking forward to the, the next couple of games now. And obviously, you got a lot of praise from Mick after the performance last Friday night. Did you know he was going to be there? No, we didn't know he was there at the game. Um, probably happy I didn't know. You know, at the time you'd probably start doing stuff that you know you you wouldn't normally do. Um, so that was a, it. Was a surprise. It was a nice. It was obviously a surprise when I when I got called up. Like I never thought that you know I would have got called up after the game. So um, yeah, it's been it's been a mad couple of days. And just in terms of training, I know you've trained with the senior squad before, but in, in terms of the last few days, how have you found it? How have the lads been with you? Yeah, the tempo obviously is uh, is is obviously a lot higher, and you know everyone's trying to impress impress the manager and uh, getting his thoughts. And um, but the lads have been great. I obviously played with Shawnee and you know I obviously now a couple of the other lads. So yeah, it's been it's been a been a mad couple of days. Uh, Shawnee, in terms of goals, obviously there's, uh, I suppose, a lack of caps maybe in the strikers that are in the squad at the moment. So is this a chance for you to to step up and, and, and get in that team and, and score a few goals at the weekend? Yeah, I think it's a great opportunity for the you know, the strikers in this camp. Um, as you said, there's not many caps between the, you know, the four of us. Um, I think Aidan is coming in now and he's probably the only striker that scored a goal. So if the opportunity arises, um, I relish it. And, you know, it's obviously a great couple of games to come into. Um, by no means we we should we should uh, underestimate. You know, Gibraltar. I think they won their first game last year in the last campa campaign. So um, we'll be look fully focused to you know to start the campaign um, with three points. Uh, you said you training on Monday. Was that just recovery? There's no issues with fitness ahead of the weekend. No, that's um, what I normally do with Preston, especially with three games last week. Um, had a couple of nineties and. Um, I think that was my fourth, fourth or fifth ninety that I played this year. So um, maybe if I didn't have three games a week, maybe I could have done a small bit. But um, just want to follow, you know, Preston's uh, regime of you know doing recovery in the gym on Mondays, and then you know I trained yesterday, and then expected to train today. So okay, thanks, lot. Jack, how, how much was your cause helped by that fantastic goal on Friday night? I don't know. You'd have to ask. Uh, you'd have to ask the gaffer. Oh, yeah. Didn't do no. you any harm. No, it didn't do me any harm, and I was just delighted to, um, you know, to see it go in. I've been, I was told at half time <coughs> by, um, by the manager that, you know, left fly from outside the box. I was, I tried a couple of one tails and they didn't come off like so. Uh, yeah, just, just glad it went in. Do you feel in any way that the next few days and the last few days that you're not just representing yourself and Shamrock Rovers, but maybe the League of Ireland in general? Well, yeah, maybe I think it's good for uh, you know the, the younger the younger players in the league. Now, I'm still only 22 as well, like you know, so um, I think it's good for you know, the likes of Trevor Clark and you know Brandon, obviously at our club as well. After getting called up to the 21s, you know, I think. You know, they can see that there's maybe a pathway there for for international football as well, and and, and a lot a lot a lot of the international teams are made up from uh, from League of Ireland players. So we think I think it can only be good for for the league. Yeah. 
the start of a, a new campaign obviously brings with it optimism, I suppose, from a supporter's point of view, and, and imagine as well from a, from a player's point of view. Yeah, um, you know, we're looking forward to, to the games, and hopefully we can um, we can get a you know a, a decent result on on Saturday, and uh, and and hopefully go into the home game with with a big backing, and um, so nothing like the Irish support. So you know, if we can get a good result away, and you know. Have a bit of a buzz going into Tuesday. I think, uh, I think it can only go well. Um, Sean, you would have watched Ireland as a fan and watched Robbie Keane. I'm sure supported him when you were younger. What's it like now that you're watching or you're being coached by him now from the sidelines as part of mixed team, and mm. the responsibility of qualifying is is on your shoulders as a player now? How does that feel? Yeah, it's um, it's an amazing feeling. You know, it was my first time meeting Robbie coming in Sunday. Um, and even chatting to him, he brings that all about, all about him, um, and we want to learn from him straight away. Even in the space of the last couple of days, him giving you tips here and there, um, it's just great to see. It's great to see. Just great to be involved. Of you know, player his uh, stature, and, um, and I've no doubt that you know, even in the space of these ten days, being involved, with Robbie, that will probably go st- come from strength to strength, and hopefully, you know, kick on as a player because you know he's. A player where you want to look up to everything what you want to be. Um, I think his goals speak for himself. 68 goals for Ireland, um, and hopefully, you know, these next couple of games, hopefully, I can kick kick on my my international career. Mick went to see you playing against QPR first, and then he said he went to see you against play against Millwall. He said QPR game, he wasn't impressed at all. But then he went to see you playing against Millwall, and he said he thought you were a really fantastic player. Can you kind of see? Where he might have had the different perspectives on both games. Well, to be fair, QPR was my probably my first start in a couple of months since that. You know, the hamstring injury against Northern Ireland. Um, I played off the left as well, so um, but like I played, I played off the left on numerous occasions this season. But to be fair, I was only getting back into the groove of things, and um, I probably probably say so myself. That I didn't particularly have a good game, but yeah, against Millwall, I think I've seen me at. You know, near my best, um, we won 3-1 and scored a goal. Um, I think Millwall kind of, you know, fell into our our trap and, you know, we hit him on the counter-attack and, you know, I really impressed that day. I um, was really happy with myself and even since then now I felt that I've kicked on a little. Um, probably would like to score a couple of more goals, but, you know, for me it's just about finishing out games and, you know, stay fully, fu- fully, f- sorry, fully fit for, for now to the end of the season. Jack, just um, I remember you were in here a f- couple of years back under Martin O'Neill, and I think we were all struck by your confidence at the time. Um, and even though you may not have, not have had a chance, maybe getting into the team, but you know, going back to the days when you were at Man City and you were being talked up by Patrick Vieira, and I said, now you're a Shamrock Rovers, and seem to be getting your career back on track. What kind of happened in between? Why do you think it never really was it off the f- pitch stuff or? No, um, you know, I, I, le- I left Man City. Um, I signed for for Wigan. I signed three and a half year deal, and um, two weeks, three weeks later, the manager was gone. That signed me, like so. You you, you can't, you know, um, can't dwell on these things, and you know, you, you never think that's going to happen when you're in that situation. You know, I was leaving it. It was a big de- big decision for me to leave Man City at the time. I had, you know, two years left on my contract. I could have easily stayed there, and you know. Went back to the 23s. I went back out on loan to Holland. I'd done something like that. I wanted to, um, I wanted to try and prove that you know we could, we could, uh, we was ready for men's football and you know um, the gamble obviously didn't pay off at the time and you just have to you know sometimes you just have to reset, take two steps forward or two steps back, you know one step back to go two steps forward should I say so you know I'm just. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm grateful that I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm back, you know, touch wood, playing well again. Would you like to, I suppose it's a it's a well-beaten track now from League of Ireland back to maybe a top-flight English club. Do you think you can get, get across there again? <sighs> to be honest, I'm not even thinking about that. I'm just thinking about training now in a, in, in a half an hour. So, you know, we obviously want to do well for, uh, for Rovers, but you can't think like that. You've just got to take it day by day and... And whatever happens, happens. Sean, this Ireland team is crying out for a goal scorer since Robbie Keane retired, but 
there's a lot of talk that you can be that guy. Do you think you can step up if you get a, a good run of games? <clears throat> yeah, I think when I'm playing, when I'm fully fit, I think my record speaks for itself. But I think what I have put the Irish jersey on, I don't think I've done myself any justice. Um, I've only had one start and obviously a couple of cameos, but you know, when the time I started actually this time last year against Turkey, I didn't particularly play well at all and didn't play up to the standards I set myself. Um, but yeah, given the opportunity, um, I think I can bring goals. Um, and I suppose these are the type of games or a striker where you're probably going to give, be given opportunities to, to put the ball in the back of the net and, um, you know, I'll, I'll relish that opportunity. And obviously, if the team plays a little more attacking, it would help you. Is there a sense that Mick might be more attacking compared to the previous camp uh, manager, do you think? Yeah, it's, um, it's difficult to say, obviously, because it's our third day and third day of training. Um, first couple of days is just about, you know, probably just doing possession and, and stuff like that. But, you know, um, even today and tomorrow, and then come Floyd uh, on Gibraltar, the gaffer will probably look to do uh, a bit more tactical stuff. Um, Obviously, we're going to be look to go out there and, and score score goals. Um, can't underestimate Gibraltar at all by any stretch of imagination. Um, hopefully, I can be that you know that player to you know to step up and you know just, you know obviously get my first international goal would would be nice. Just final for me, just on your injuries, you haven't very unlucky with hamstring injuries. Is this something you need to manage long term now, or is this just a short term? Concern? Yeah, I need to come to the grips now of that. I'm probably going to have to, you know, get into the gym half an hour, 45 minutes before anyone else and, and you know, get my glutes activated, get my hamstrings warm and something that I'm probably going to have to do from now until the day I retire. Um, it just becomes a habit and something you get used to. Um, you know, obviously, that, that one, that very first hamstring injury came a year and a half ago um, and I've had three, you know, serious ones, you know, since. And you No know, touch wood, I haven't had one since the Northern Ireland game in November. Um, which is good, and I feel like um, I'm nearly back to my best. Um, I think I've started the last 11 games, um, which is a great co confidence booster. And you know, as I said, there it's just about staying fifth from now until the end of the season and um, into into the sports international games in June. Well, so that's uh, get into the gym. So yeah. all good. Thank you very much. Cheers, man. Thank you.